Grammar Bites, Lesson 27. A sentence needs a subject and a predicate. Not sure what these are? I'll show you. In the Grammar Bite series, we watch all the videos so we learn all the rules of English. In the last few videos, we've been talking about what a sentence is and what it needs to have. I said a sentence expresses a complete thought or idea and I showed you some examples. Now there's one more thing that a sentence needs to have. Well, actually two things. Ready? A sentence needs to have a subject and a predicate. Subject and predicate are grammar words, but I think it's helpful for us to understand what they mean. Maybe you already know what they mean. Let's start there. You can think about it, talk about it with a friend or write about it. What is a subject? What is a predicate? If you don't know the answers, no problem. I'm going to teach you that today. Let's use this sentence again. Can you read it? The boy runs. What is the subject? The boy is the subject. He is fast. What is the subject? He is the subject. Bin is happy. What is the subject? Bin is the subject. So the subjects are the boy, he, and Bin. The subject is the star of the sentence. The subject is what the sentence is about. So that's subject. Now the other word was predicate. So what is the predicate? In the boy runs, runs is the predicate. In he is fast, is fast is the predicate. In bin is happy, is happy is the predicate. So what's the predicate? The predicate has the verb and says something about the subject. So these three sentences are about this person and the predicates tell us what he's doing, how he's doing it, and how he feels. A sentence needs a subject and a predicate. If you like, maybe try writing a few other sentences. Grammar Bite 27. A sentence has a subject and a predicate. The subject is the star of the sentence. The predicate contains the verb and says something about the subject. In the next lesson, we'll talk about whether a predicate is the same as a verb. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. New videos in the Grammar Bite series will be posted on Thursdays and Sundays. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. You can also find my videos for free on my website, www.mycanadianenglish.com.